Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know. I am on the Lord's side. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know. I am on the Lord. I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. And the Lord is on my side. As long as I live, as long as I live, I am on the Lord's side. As long as I live, as long as I live, I am on the Lord's side. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know. I am on the Lord's side. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know. I am on the Lord. I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. And the Lord is on my side. As long as I live, as long as I live, I am on the Lord's side. Father God, I am on your side. And I know the price I pay. And I pay daily to be on your side. And I know how much some shone me in your hearts and to my face because I am on your side. And I know I'm not the only person who is so shone because we are on your side and because we testify about your goodness in our lives and we speak your words with all boldness, Father God. May you tell us today that they will be put to shame. Father God, it doesn't matter who they are, family, friends, society. Father God, with such assurance, with such a promise, I will continue. Sickness has no power over me. Uh, uh, gossip and slander and all of those things mean nothing to me. As long as I am on your side, Father God. I want to thank you so much, Father, for having made this all possible. It's such an honor for me, Father God. I don't take it for granted. I come humbly before your throne every day at all times. And I'm so grateful for the relationship we have. And I will march on. I will march on. I will march on with more boldness, Father God. I will march on. I will march on in this new month. March on, Mark. March on, Mark. March on, Mark. I will not let any sickness distract me. I will not let any gossip and gimmicks and dynamics and gymnastics of the world distract me. Yes, Father, I have put my hand on the plow and I'm not looking back. And I know we are many. I want to pray in a very special way this morning for my bishop, Bishop Beryl Lesebenalova. She's starting the crusade today. Father, it's for winning souls, more and more souls for you, Papa. May you be glorified through it all. Father God, do what only you can do. Speak the way only you can speak in her life. Move, Father God. She's so willing to follow. Oh, Father God, I lift it all up into your hands. I thank you so much for restored health. I thank you for all what you've told me this morning, Father God. And I'm going to do just all of that. I give you all the glory, Papa. Holy Spirit, continue to blow. Because without your bread, I'm stagnant. Without your bread, we are all stagnant. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you so much, Jesus. It's in your precious name that I pray this morning. Amen. Hello, tribe. I hope everyone is doing fine. This is morning devotion. One thing I said I would not stop doing uh, while I was sick because it's going, right? So yesterday I was sitting on the bed to do morning devotion. Today I'm standing. Actually, after this, I'm going to walk out. This... Um, whatever kata or code or is that these are all distractions that are all on its way out but i got the message you know sometimes you need to your body needs to signal to you to sleep to sit down and stuff like that and it can come in different ways and then uh, you have to be very sensitive to what's going on and you have to keep talking with your god you know and uh, you get the message and then you're like thank you papa okay i get you so that is it uh what did i want to say well i forgot it anyway but um, i i mean i'm doing much much better i'm very grateful and um 
let's get into morning devotion joy for the outcasts joy for the outcasts if you've ever felt like an outcast for the name for the sake of the lord right for his name let's gather for a selfie <laughs> joy for the outcast yeah the word of the lord you will tremble at his word your brothers who hate you who exclude you for my name's sake have said let the lord be glorified that we may see your joy but they will be put to shame isaiah chapter 66 verse 5 okay so these people are the ones who would exclude you for god's name ha huh. so according to them you are not worthy to be a child of god or a servant of god and so they will exclude you thinking that they're doing what is right and they will keep you there in one corner and they would even outrightly tell you please just go or you know they will, they will just ignore you and be doing their things and they are saying that they're doing this for god's name's sake and they want god to be glorified they want god to be glorified they want to see how you can be happy but they will be put to shame okay so uh it happened to me recently and uh i'm still standing and i'm still serving my god and i mean i learned a lot in a very short span of time and i'm very grateful for all those lessons you know there are always lessons always things that you have to learn in life so focus on what you are learning and then um when it's time to move on, move on without um, cursing anyone and stuff like that. Just take your lessons and go. That's what happened to me, and I'm very grateful for that. It is possible that this verse might only apply to one in a thousand of the readers of this little book of promises. I'm not sure anyway. Apply to so many of us. You just need to be strong, not to let that wave, that wave like that carry you along, you know. Uh, I'm so grateful for the relationship I have with God because this is the second time such a thing is happening to me. This time I knew exactly what was coming. Um, it just came too fast, but I knew it was coming and I was prepared to do what God wanted me to do. And um, I did it and I moved without feeling hurt. And it, it, it was my do, but the first time it happened in 2019, it was like a tsunami and it took me so aback. I think it's because I was still baby Christian, quote and unquote, at that time. So it took me three years to fully recover and uh, go back to a church. But this time around, I'm good. So uh, you need to stay very grounded, you know, stay on the Lord's side. Even if you're the only one on that side in your family or among your circle of friends and stuff, that's the best side. Where there's a crowd, the world and all those concerts and ah, uh -uh. might not be the safest place for you to be or no. Stay on the Lord's side. As long as I live, oh, as long as I live, I'm staying on that side. I've seen too much of crazy on the other side for me to, to dare go back to that side again. No, no, no. I cannot do that at 44. No. Okay. Uh, the Lord encourages that person with such words as this. Let us pray for all those who are cast out wrongfully from the society that they love. May the Lord appear to their joy. Yes, the Lord will give us joy. And that is where these people will start to drink their own vomit. You know, they'll be like, what? After we cast them, after we rebuke them, we chastise them, after we disown them, they can still be this happy. Ah, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The text applies to truly gracious people who tremble at the word of the Lord. That is it. If you tremble at the word of the Lord, you have that fear of the Lord, the reverence. This text applies to you. Are you gracious? This text applies to you. They were hated by their brethren. And were cast out because of their faithfulness and their holiness. This must have been very bitter to them. Back in those days, 
you know, when uh, Christianity just came to Africa and if one person became a convert, oh my goodness, their family would be like, what has come over this one? In short, nobody wants to talk to you again. I may be talking about back in those days, even today or a few years ago. I once heard the story of a girl who used to be beaten mercilessly because she would go out for fellowship and all of that. I even heard also of a young man, you know, and this is somebody close to me who told me this story of their sibling who was so shunned by their own father of blessed memory today because they would they had given their life to Christ and they would go out and all of those things and stuff like that. So that made uh, his siblings to say, no, if that is how giving your life to Christ will um, attract um, this kind of shunning, then we would it though. If Papa doesn't give his life to Christ, we cannot. But you know, Jesus said, no one can come to me without first giving up his own father and mother and brother and sister, in short, without carrying their cross. So all of these things are inevitable. So um, there was a time in my life where I was also going through that and I was just very quiet in my corner uh, with my Jesus, you know, and eventually, you know, people now know that, uh, uh, they know on which side I am and, uh, you know, so <laughs> you just take me like that. Let me just put it that way. Okay. So. And all the more so because they were cast out in the name of religion and by those who profess to be glorifying God. How much is done for the devil in the name of God? Hey, Jesus has suffered. God's name has suffered. You know, and um, this whole thing of, you're not going to my church. You're not going to my church. You're not worshipping God the right way. You're serving the devil. You are who are we shooting? Who are we hurting? What is it about church? What is it about denomination? What is it about all of that? Can we just love? Can we just love our neighbor like ourselves? Can we just love God? Whatever the form, can we just love God? Can we just love our neighbor like ourselves? Is that not the most important message Jesus came to give us? What is this whole thing about? Which church are you going to? Which denomination? Which do you know that there are some Catholics who are holier and more righteous than some Pentecostal or some whatever, so whatever? Where are all of these things even coming from? I say some experiences that I have had <laughs> in religious settings and in these places and with these people. It's like, no, let me just stay be quiet in my corner, you know, and uh, just be loving my God and loving my neighbor, frankly speaking. Because it's like when I go close, that is where spiritual warfare takes like three steps. But I also know it is not necessarily the people in there. It's the spirit of that bastard and his agents. But um, God is God. God is not man. So I know he will do it again and he does it again and again. The use of the name of God to add venom to the bite of the old serpent is an example of his subletty as i was just saying he would come and get into these people and then you know manipulate their thoughts the same person who said something wonderful about you a week ago is the same person who is going to say something terrible about you one week later yeah like wow the same me <laughs> you know but jesus already endured that right on palm sunday they were like hail the king of glory la, la, la. put their clothes on the road put palm frost up one week later, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. So who am I not to go through that? Okay. The appearing of the Lord for them is the hope of his persecuted people. He appears as the advocate and the defender of his elect. And when he does so, it means a clear deliverance for those who fear God and shame for their oppressors that's what is written there and you know the holy spirit is the comforter my comforter so i know where to take all of these things to very fast i bring it to papa i mean if i did not even have the relationship i had with him i would have been lost i would not have seen it coming 
I would not have known what to do and I would not have brought it back to him immediately so that I get the directions, you know, and all of that and be consulted in the whole process. Okay. Oh Lord, fulfill this word to those whom people are ridiculing and tormenting. Are they ridiculing you? Are they tormenting you? You don't have two places to go to. If it's for the sake of the Lord, then that's the same place you have to take it to. And uh, he's going to speak to you. You have to remain steadfast. There's nothing there in the world. There's nothing. Do this. Cultivate this habit. So that the joy of the Lord will be your strength. They who were ridiculing you. They who shunned you. They who spoke all kinds of things about you. They will come back. And if they don't come back to you, you yourself, you will see them one day. They too will have given their whole lives to Christ. They'll be like, ah, me, I want that Jesus too. I want that kind of relationship. Oh, she's still standing. No, 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 there's something there. I want to discover that. So that's the reason why you have to match on. Uh, um, and you have to do that in all faith and in all um, graciousness. That means that no bitterness should follow you. Uh, no backbiting, no envy, no jealousy. Forget about all of those things. You are just too precious and too important to the kingdom of God to let those kind of things uh, bother you or distract you. Because for me, those are distractions. I was sent to a place to learn. By the time I thought I was just beginning, that was the end of the lesson. And so I had to take my things and go home. And so I thank my God for that. And so please, if you are being ridiculed and you are being tormented and you are being take it to the Lord, don't overstay your welcome and then uh, don't miss out on what you have to learn. So work on your relationship with God. Forget about those people, the distractions and all of that. Be it right there, your home, your family, your, your brothers, your sisters, body of Christ, whatever. Forget. Just first of all, go seek the Lord very diligently. Tell him everything and then listen to what he wants to say. Or what he has to say. There's always something God wants to tell you. Sometimes those things happen so that you should stop focusing on that. Maybe you were already getting too carried away with all of that. And so God wants you to come back. Let him remind you of the things he really wants you to do. And what you're supposed to take from there. And move on. Okay? So Father, I want to thank you so much for this morning. I really just want to thank you for the restoration, right? And I just commend it all into your hands and I pray for all those all over the world who are being ridiculed and tormented and shunned excommunicated for your name's sake Holy Spirit you the comforter par excellence be you your work oh my goodness Father thank you so much thank you thank you thank you that's all what I want to say as I wrap up in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, tribe, take care. Do it much better. I am on the Lord's side. I'm going to work out now. I would have even put on my workout gear, yeah, but uh, I was already running late, and I don't like to be late. I would rather be early. So uh, we thank God, and uh, tomorrow and Friday, by grace, and then in the evenings on TikToks and I share on other platforms, and please, you want to pray, not for me, for my bishop and the crusade that is starting today. Um, we thank God for everything, right? Have a wonderful Wednesday. Today is the 1st of March. It's a new month. Be grateful for it and make the most of this day and everything. And uh, God bless us all.